I'm Kimberly Jolly from the Fat Quarter Shop, and today I'm going to show you how to make this super adorable Rick Rack Patty Whack quilt that's flannel. The quilt and the fabric are both designed by Kim Deal. So let's get started. Cut and label all of your fabrics with your alpha bitties, and today we're working with flannel, so it's a little bit different than cotton. One side is going to stretch more than cotton, and one side's going to be a little bit more taut than cotton. So you're going to use a lot of pins. And I'm gonna use a longer stitch length than I usually do. Somewhere between a 2.2 and a 2.5. And you're gonna to wanna to use, on this type of fabric, like a lighter, lighter thread. So I'm using color 2000. So you're gonna take your fabric B squares, draw a line from corner to corner with a friction pin. Your friction pin's gonna disappear with heat later, so I like to use that. You're gonna place this on one corner of a fabric F square you're gonna stitch directly on the line. Now I'm gonna use pins all the way throughout this project since it is flannel and it's gonna move easier and you really want it to stay in place. You're gonna trim a quarter inch away and press towards the outside. You're gonna repeat on all four corners and this is gonna be your patty whack unit and you're gonna make 18. To make your rows, place three patty whack units and three fabric A squares. You're gonna sew them together with a quarter inch seam and you're gonna place about four pins each time just to make sure your fabric stays in place. You're gonna make six rows that are identical and the fun thing about this is you're gonna flip your rows. So when you're piecing, you just flip them. So it's really easy to make your rows without thinking. Assemble your six rows by alternating them and now we're gonna add our Rick Rack. What I'm gonna do is draw with a friction pin diagonally across the background fabrics, and then I'm gonna show you how to attach your rig rack. When you're drawing your lines, you're gonna to want to put the ruler on each corner and just draw from corner to corner. Now we're gonna attach our rig rack we're using 5 8 inch wide rick rack, and we're using a pink and a green. And the way that I like to do my rick rack is um, we're gonna be alternating colors. I'm just gonna lay it down, and I'm gonna use a lot of pins so when I'm sewing, it will not move as much. And so I'm gonna lay out all of my greens first, and then we're gonna sew those on. I'm gonna leave about a half inch off on each side and we'll trim that later. We're ready to sew down our green rickrack. I'm gonna be using a green thread on the top and the bottom. I'm gonna be using a longer stitch length, like a 2.5 to 2.8 and a walking foot to really pull that fabric through nicely. And it's always helpful to start on a test piece of fabric with Rick Rack on the top and make sure you like the look of it. It's easy to sew the Rick Rack on, just go really slow. Now that all of the green rick rack is attached, we're gonna go ahead and add our pink, and you're just gonna lay it the opposite direction of your green, and we're gonna pin it just like we did, and we're gonna sew it, and we're gonna change out our top thread and our bobbin thread to a matching pink. And because we're using the walking foot, when you go over the double rick racks, it's not even gonna matter. You're just gonna go right through. So let's pin and sew. So we have all of our rick rack attached and now we're just gonna trim off the excess rick rack on the edge before we add our borders.
We're halfway done. We've got our quilt top assembled and you're gonna add first your side inner borders and press. Then you're gonna add your top and bottom borders and press. I'm gonna keep using that walking foot when I attach my borders and I'm gonna use a quarter inch seam allowance. Now we're gonna make our outer border. We're gonna make four corner border units. You're gonna take a fabric C square, put it on one corner of a fabric G square, stitch directly on the line, trim a quarter inch away. You're gonna repeat on the other two corners and you're gonna make four. And you'll have one corner that does not have a fabric C square. We're continuing our outer border. You're gonna take your fabric G squares and add fabric C squares to the top two corners, just like we've been doing, and we're gonna make 52 border units. To make your top and bottom outer borders, you're going to assemble two corner border units and 13 border units. To make your side borders, you're just gonna assemble 13 border units. You're gonna press everything open, and if you followed the pressing in our pattern that you can download at Fat Quarter Shop, you're gonna see that all of your seams nest perfectly. To finish your quilt, add your side outer borders and press, and then add your top and bottom borders and press. This quilt is perfect for the little girl or little boy in your life. We have kits in the girl and boy version, and our pattern shows both colorways. If you love this project, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.